All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So I was getting ready to put out a video uh, on Arizona and the crazy little bill that they have put out there about a senator, Ms. Rios, and how ridiculous it actually was. And the chances that it had to actually pass being that the Senate, the seats, there's only 30 Senate seats and there's 17 to uh, 14 or 17 to 13. And, and in reality, it's probably not going to pass because they just don't have enough numbers there. However, uh, in Virginia, just a few minutes ago, the House voted on the House Bill uh, 961, I believe it was. Yep. And, uh, and it passed. So the uh, Northern Virginia, the, the, the Hunger Games has started. But I would like to say this because we're, I'm not going to just sit here and say that, well, we're all doomed, it passed and whatever. And I hope that the rest of the guys don't do that as well. Uh, because there is uh, some saving grace out there, and I want to explain to you the reasons behind what I'm saying, because the battleground is yet to be established, and I hope that we don't get to that point. Because the checks and balances that remain are optimistic, if you just catch what I'm saying. So uh, in the first slide that I'm going to put right here, this is the uh, number of seats that are split in the Senate because after the vote in the House, it has to go to the Senate for approval prior to going to uh, Mr. Blackface up there, Northam, for signature into law. Now, the saving grace is that there is only two seats that separate the blue and the red, i.e. The, the Democrats have an advantage uh, over the Republicans uh, and only by two seats. Now, here's my thing. This is where the battle starts. And this is the, the and, and, and one of the papers, I believe it was like the Washington Post or one of those rags up there, they were saying this one op-ed was like this, sanctuary cities are, are dangerous to our democracy. And I go, no, they're not. Actually, what it does is it, it, it and their argument was that it uh, sends a mixed signal to the people once law is in, uh, in effect that uh, they're allowed to break it. Well, no, that means that we're just not going to observe the, the laws that you have instilled. And, well, that's just not going to happen. We don't give a crap about your unethical and unconstitutional voting up there. So anyway, we've got an area called uh, Northern Virginia. There's a couple areas up there. And overwhelmingly, uh, there's enough votes in the House to where these people don't have any retribution. Otherwise, Northern Virginia. So here is what I'm thinking right here. And the next one, I'm going to show you, bam, what happened in 2019. Uh, as you can see, the areas are, there's a couple of blue there, but the majority of the stuff is red, and there's some condensed blue down on the bottom and on the east, but mainly up here in the Richmond area. Now, this is, these are the Senate seats right here, okay? This is what's important that I think everyone needs to know that the battle for the sanctuary cities to send the message not only to Governor Northam but to the Senate and the House. The next one I put up, I want I'm going to actually put the Senate seats here. I'm going to put the uh, sanctuary cities and counties down here. All right. So what we are looking at is our saving grace, if there is any, for the Commonwealth of Virginia. The areas, and thank God for the guys over here that made this, I believe this was the Virginia Defense League, uh, Civil Defense League, uh, they put this thing together, and these are the uh, sanctuary cities. And as you see that in contrast to where the areas in blue are, okay, you're, you're, first of all, we're not going to be able to do anything with Richmond because it's overwhelmingly Democrat, and, but they are trying. But here's what's happening. If a senator is si sitting in Virginia right now, he has to know that his seat is up if he goes and votes for this assault weapons ban, magazine ban, and suppressor ban. Uh, because the majority of the people in the blue area here, here, and here, and here have voted to become a sanctuary city. So the end of the story will be this. In the event that they vote for this gun control bill, they will lose their seat in the upcoming vote. There are enough Republicans and there are enough Democrats in those areas 
who will know that these jackasses voted against what they believe in, and that is our Constitution. So that's the saving grace, guys. I'm not going to get up here and say all is lost, but we will find out when the next vote and it goes through the Senate. That's where this bill will be killed. I am praying, and I hope you do too. Let's go to Boy32. Guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is a serious matter right here, serious for Virginia, serious for people like me who move through the state of Virginia on a weekly basis with multiple firearms. This is dangerous stuff, guys. Let's go to Boy32. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who uphold our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's help it go viral, because this is this is some scary stuff. It's Cutaway32. I'm out.